All right, it's the end of the show, so it must be time for the Joe Biden comedy segment. He never disappoints. But Joe wasn't in a laughing mood this week. The former VP sounded off on an Iowa voter who challenged him on Hunter Biden's Ukraine ties. You said I set up my son to work in an oil company. Isn't that what you said? Yes. Get your words straight, Jack. What? Well, I, we, here on the on MSNBC. All you the, don't hear that in MSNBC. Well, yeah. <laughs> then, then when he was challenged on it, look, this one's amazing, by NPR's Rachel Martin, he completely lost it. What Donald Trump says a lot, hey, you can't take a joke, I was joking. No, the point, no, 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 but the don't, point don't compare up, me to Donald Trump. But people don't did, do at that. the town hall, it was no, just they that. Did. They, yes, they did. He also oddly boasted about his push-up prowess. And you want to check my shape on it, let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take a nice push Push-ups, all right. But, you know, it's not the first time that Cre Creepy Joe is obsessed with push-ups. Come on, Donald. Come on, man. You, it's, how many push-ups you want to do here, pal? You know, right. I mean, jokingly. You know, come on, run with me, man. <laughs> it's like, what's the matter with him? Is that what he said to Come on, up? come on, man. Push ups, corn pot. Was, last week was the hairy legs, wasn't it? It's just unbelievable. I just hope. I really wish that guy from Iowa had said, all right, let's do it. Let's do some push ups. <laughs> yeah, and see if he awesome. could actually even do one. That would be good. I mean, it's funny, and yet that man is exactly the kind of skeptical voter that the oh, Democrat yeah. is going to have to win over in the general election and even now and his response is is to insult him you're a liar i mean it's yeah, just yeah. So jack. jack that's right what, what, jack. one news report the said the guy's name was jack and i don't think it was oh and that's that was so ridiculous insult. they're making excuses for it that's that, a, it was another insult but how about that interview with rachel i it, just imagine if donald trump had got in the face of a female oh, journalist like that finger and, and said don't you do with that aggression that immediate he really lost his temper yeah. if that had been donald Trump, it would be leading the, but it would just. You know. Oh, if that had been Donald Trump, it would be on the cover of Time. It would be all over the news. CNN would run it 24/7. We, we know exactly how the media and why the media ignores what Biden does. I mean, look, he has to answer questions. Tammy's right. He, if someone asks him, it, it's a legitimate question. He Everybody scratches an their heads and says, "Well, how is it that Hunter Biden?" Right. His Rosemont Seneca was getting 166000 a month from Burisma, and that a good portion of that was ending up in possibly in Hunter Biden's bank account. So how right. is that? Well, explain. Well, Jason, Jason, made a good point. Of people. Jason made a very good point about him emulating someone or trying to be. I, I think in American politics today, what trumps, if you will, everything else is authenticity. Uh -huh. And when Joe Biden tries to be like Donald Trump and try to play... He, it just comes across as so fake, so insincere. And remember, this is the same Joe Biden who had to drop out of his first presidential campaign because of the insincerity of plagiarism charges. Yes. There's a reason why he hasn't prevailed before, and it's a reason why his numbers go down and why Democrats are still jumping into the race see, they're, because they that's see right, they're, they're worried mistaking, about him. They're mistaking. Trump is genuinely, literally himself. Mm -hmm. That is what is shockingly unique. And they are so unable to be themselves that they're misinterpreting Trump like that's what everyone is when they're being that's themselves. That's right. So he has it's to put no it's malarkey on the side of a bus to persuade people <laughs> he's not the swamp creature that everyone knows he really is. Well, for, for over 40 years. But the American people, though, we now know the difference. We've learned that from Donald Trump. All people want is honesty exactly and that can it. come in any form that it is if it's if it's the truth we're forgiving people where we like underdogs uh, and it's they're really exposing how except for with both Mitt Romney and Hillary when they were losing is when they relaxed and they became more interesting and more themselves but I think it's a generation that's impossible I, Donald Trump will win again specifically because of that and people are gonna have to learn how to be themselves. I don't know I don't know how if we want to relax Joe Biden I think that's what we got with old corn pop. <laughs> that's that what we got with corn pop. Oh. We don't want well that's the real Joe Biden right that <laughs> candid moment where you catch Joe Biden telling his stories about corn pop know. and his legs and I don't know you if know, that really is the candid one. He doesn't know how to transmit well, his story stories to the people. Look at that. I knew it. We're out of time. Aww. What a great evening we've had. Thank you very much. Thank you for Fun. joining us. Good stuff. And